Hey, hi, and hello, and welcome to episode 62 of the Digimon World 2 Let's Play series. In the last episode, we took on the second Chaos General, Chaos Metal Seedramon, or Mega Seedramon, and defeated them in uh, what domain was it? I think it was Mega Domain. So now we are, we actually wanted to try and get a Dark Tyranomon. So we came here to Patch Domain because we want to do the trade that's going on in the Digimon Center at the moment. So we've, I've gone a fair ways from where we were. I think we're on the third floor when we were last together. But now we're on the final floor because we finally get a Dark Tyranomon. I've been looking at all the other ones, but we want to go to here. Let's start off the bat by... We picked up a toy tank and a toy boat along the way. How many spaces have we got in between? Probably that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's just use the toy plane, see where we go. And it's only a little hot. Okay. So we'll quickly do this battle. Because not to mention we do have Phoenix Mon has maxed out. So we can just do a little teaser of what the battle will be like. We do Tidal Wave and then we do Duo Scissor Claw. But yeah, that's, that's where we're up to at the moment. But no, so the plan for today is to get Dark Tyranomon. We want to try and tra we want to trade for Myotismon. And then I'm thinking, because we'll use Phoenixmon one last time before we have to Dino Digivolve with another Digimon. We'll see what our options are with Myotismon and Metal Mammymon. Or we might even have to go get another Digimon. But... Nonetheless, I'm thinking we take Phoenix One. Um, we can always just do Magical Tail as well, and then we can use Shadow Scythe. We take Phoenix One and we go to the Colosseum. We haven't been there in a while, so with our Mega Level Digimon, I think we should be able to do the next couple of. Um, ranks so we'll go into that not to mention we have far superior moves since the last time that we went to the Colosseum now if this attacks Dark Tyranomon yep be guarded so that's good Sixty-two damage. Well, that's enough. So, if we just mirror what we've done this game, uh, this battle, we should be all right. And then you can guard. In fact, you can guard. You can just do Sonic Crusher, and you can use Necro Magic because Aquamon's. Speed is much faster, so I'll get the assist in first, as well as we can get the attack from Scorpio Mon. Yeah. 
Is 24 enough? Yep, sweet. Okay, so that was a little taste. Show you our team. It hasn't been much different. But there we can see Phoenix Mon is maxed out. And Scorpio Mon is so close to getting leveled up to become a Mega. So, I don't want to do that. Let's go up here now. Let's just uh, use the toy boat. Took the toy boat. The toy tank. Took the toy tank. Another toy plane. Big heart. Okay. Two toy planes, a toy tank, and a toy boat. So it's quite costly just to get a dark tyrannum on. So we know the drill, we're gonna do the wing blade, Scar Greymon. We'll do Tidal Wave as well as the duo scissor claw. Dark Tyranomon guards. Okay, now Aquamon does his hit. And now I just thought, give a break, we do want to go to Data Domain next, I think it is. So, and then face the third Chaos General, but I just thought, let's use our, this team we've had for a while, so let's use them for the Colosseum, get something out of it, you know? Because I'm not too sure what the next trade will be, when the next trade will be available. Uh, I haven't even been to the Digimon Center to make sure that the Dark Tyranomon trade is available. It has been some time. I could just be doing this for nothing. I want to do... I don't want to do that. Viewing Blade, and then I can do... Tidal Wave, and let's just do another Joy Physical. It's different to what we did last time, but... Yeah, Dark Tyranomon didn't guard, so 81 shouldn't be too much. Yep, sweet. And now is this going to be enough to take out Giga Drummond? I think it should be, yep. So, with all things going our way, There we go, and now hopefully we get Dark Tyranomon. Yes, sweet. Yep. I'll let it join. Don't want to name it, don't need to name it. And what we can do is we can autopilot out of here. And there's a Master Tyranomon. Okay, so we're gonna go to the File City. And let's go back to Digital City, somewhere that we haven't been to in a while. Okay. Yeah, so we've done patch, we've done mega, now we're on to data domain. What is this power domain? That's right. There's Ben Oldman. So 
So we've had quite a few domains. And I think we've still got a fair few, uh, not a fair few, but I still think we have a couple more to go. So we can go to Digital City now. And now because we caught it out in the field, it should still be in our Digi, uh, DigiBeetle browser. Okay, now let's go to the Digimon Center. Up here. And yes, we can still get my Otis one. Okay, so there we go, we got my Otis Mon now. So if we go to Digimon, is it uh, Digibeetle? Yes it is. And it's level 21 with... So it has Grizzly Wing, which we've seen before, and we've got full recovery. So I think has Scorpion one got full recovery as well? It's got HP recovery. So that's good to have. And I'm thinking we have um, full recovery. What does that say? Fully regained Digimon's HP. Now I'm not too sure if that is even if they're fainted, but it is what it is. So now let us go up. Yeah, we're gonna go through to the sign in room talk to this lady welcome to the application office rank 6 yep ok so we'll pay 2,500 bits which some of the Digimon that we're facing against gives us that and uh, let's see who our first opponent is Bertram ok So the first battle of rank 6 tournament is Bertram. And we should absolutely blitz this tournament. I think Debbie Dramon is our worst opponent here, so let's just use Joy Scissor Core. Now, I think we should be able to blitz through this tournament, even though 78, 65. So, Gato Mon. I think this B Wing Blade should do some decent damage now. 123. Even if it survived that, I think Tidal Wave would have knocked it out. I think after this, gut, they're, just, they're both going to survive. Yeah. Eleven damage. And then, New York Ring. From a flare is one. Okay. Uh, what we can do now is a guard, guard, and shadow scythe. Because then I'm attacking both of them. That's the best bang for my buck, you know? 98 damage, no chance in surviving that. Tax again. Hundred and seventeen. And there you have it. First battle done. 
So I'm thinking we smash out a few ranks in the tournament in the Colosseum. That looks like Sheena. So I'm thinking we smash out a few of the tournaments here at the Colosseum before we move on to the storyline. Just because we're a bit overpowered, like in terms of where the Colosseum should like thinks we should be. So I think we go until we find it hard in the Colosseum or we actually feel like we're at our, where we should be. Because I think we're going to end up with more champion level Digimon here. Yeah. Whereas we've got a mega and two ultimates. Uh, let's do Devimon. Let's do let's do Tidal Wave and Joy Scissor Claw. It would be handy if Phoenix Mon knew a move that attacked all three. I'd probably be using that. Eighty damage before Joy Scissor Claw. That is ridiculous. And now Tidal Wave takes out Devimon. Yep. And then same deal as the last battle, we're going to go and use Shadow Scythe. I would like to use Shadow Scythe before the end of the battle. Like, they're only hitting 8. 8 damage. So, we're on the second battle. You can guard, you can guard. You can use Shadow Scythe, which I think after a defensive down, we should have, we'll hit, I reckon we'll hit triple figures, if not 90, yeah, oh, 138, most definitely. And 115. So, there's that. Second battle finished. Okay, so Bertrand was the first round. Sheena was the second round. I didn't get a glimpse of who was the next opponent. Is this Mark Schultz? Yeah. I'm getting by. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the ring and let's see how we'll go. I think rank 7 is where it's going to start getting a bit harder for us. So let's just use the Ring Blade on Saber Drummond. And there we go. I think we're going to be alright in this battle as well. Although only hitting 40s with Duo Scissor Claw. But everyone's defense is down, so you can always hit that a little bit harder now. I haven't even had to think about using a HP recovery, let alone a Crimson Flame, to re revive any of my Digimon. 
So maybe save your Jumon? No. Okay. So I think a second defense down, or a second duo scissor claw should be enough for this battle. So a combine of 19 across all three. And then air attack. Howling Blaster. The Wing Blade. Tentacle Claw. Joy Scissor Claw. And that should do it. His attack missed. It might not need be necessary for the second defensive down, but oh, I, oh well, <sighs> that is not what I wanted. Well, it's not like we're in any sort of danger in terms of HP. The wing blade, tentacle claw, shadow scythe, just to be safe. Whoever attacks first. Uh, well, this attack's on a hit. Aquamon once and a miss. Then we get Scorpio Mon. And there we have it. We are now a rank six Digimon Tamer. Not too really sure what the actual classing is. I'm a pro now, I'm fairly sure. Now I did win fair and square. Well, there you have it. Whatever the situation is, let me congratulate you, Kuzan. I'm an expert tamer. You're an ex driver. Okay. So, not that special. It just recovers the status effect. But. I'm going to leave the episode at that. So, like always, guys and girls. If you've liked the episode, please give it a like. And then on top of that, just leave a comment down below on what you're liking on the series so far. Or just general comments on what you'd like to see happen coming forward. And then, like always, please subscribe. It helps me out and keeps you up to date with the episodes that I'm putting out. If it's going to be Digimon World 2, I'm thinking of other games that I'll be starting soon since... Digimon 2, Digimon World 2 is going to be wrapping up, hopefully soon. I don't see it lasting too much longer, but we can only go from there. So like always, look after yourself, keep cool, and stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.